Now she is over at Springfield Middle School. Tell us what you're seeing there, Amy. Uh, Lots of damage. We made it to the middle school. I want to go ahead and go straight to the image that we're seeing here. So this is one of the wings of the middle school. Um, and there's a lot of damage to this part of the middle school. So the, if I pan over here to the right, that's where the main entrance is to the school. Um, it looks like most of the damage was done on this wing that's just to the left of the main entrance to the middle school. There are, um, I can put it on, let me put, let me just show you here. We have multiple um, crews here. This is DOT that's here. Um, looks like police are here as well. Um, and this is the damage to the middle school that we're seeing. Extensive damage, you know. Gotta, gotta be thankful that this happened overnight. It's dangerous for tornadoes to happen overnight, but um, for it to hit a school like this, we're glad nobody was, was uh, school wasn't in session, obviously, which is, which is good. Uh, extensive damage done to the middle school here at, um, in Lukama at Springfield Middle School. There's the entrance. Um, there is some damage. It looks like there's some debris leading into the entrance as well. But as I mentioned, it looks like the most extensive damage was done to this wing here, just to the left of the main entrance to the school. Lots of power lines down too, and that's why we're staying in the storm tracker. Normally we'd get out, try to talk to people, try to ask questions, see if anybody was injured. We can't get out, it's just not safe to do it. There's power lines down everywhere, just like where we were with the house. Lots of power lines down, so it's a mess out here. For now, we'll send it back to